welcome back to Say What Your Homestead. We are going to be taking our peanuts off our plants and then putting them into a bowl to boil them. That's right, it is time. These guys have been out here on the clothesline. Thankfully, no critters have gotten them uh, for about three weeks now. And so they are ready to be finished being harvested. Uh-oh, I'm losing them. You see that one down there? Stick it in your pocket. <laughs> so we're gonna finish harvesting these guys and then, um, yeah, we're gonna figure out if we're going to boil them or roast them. We might try to do both, I don't know, we're gonna see. But right now, we gotta take these plants to the front porch and get them off the plants. over there oh my goodness we have piles and they're even in the chairs all right let's get started all right so we lost a few right there so that tells me that we may have some others that the chickens are gonna find but that's okay we got most of them I feel very confident that we got most of them if you guys are new with us welcome first of all so glad that you were here and if you're coming back glad you're here too so this is the first time we've ever grown peanuts so we are completely new to this and the reason we grew peanuts is why josiah because um i wanted to um try how um grows peanuts for us <laughs> yeah he, we saw them in a store a feed and seed store and josiah decided right there on the spot that he wanted to know how homegrown peanuts tasted and see if they were good. So we bought some, didn't we? And how did you plant them in our garden? I planted them mostly everywhere. <laughs> mostly everywhere. Our summer garden was overtaken by peanuts, but that's okay. So uh, like I said, this is our first experience with peanuts. And what we did was harvested them uh, a couple weeks ago. And then we have been letting them just air dry for the last about three weeks. And so now we're going to yeah, get them off. We're gonna wash them up, and then Josiah gets to ultimately decide how we're gonna prepare these. And he said, "Boiled." Boiled today. Yeah, initially he said roasted, but he said boiled. Your mama is gonna be so happy. So we definitely, as we go through these, want to separate out the good and the bad. Dude, that one's bad. Uh, the bad ones will probably just throw them into the chickens, see if they eat them. But just do a quick look. We'll look at them closer when we start to really pull them apart. Whoa, this one's a big one. Whoa, yeah, it is. That's a humongous peanut. <laughs> Did you say you wanted to keep some out for next year? Mm-hmm. Okay. The plant If you're going to do that, what we need to do is find the really good ones, like the big ones. Those are the ones you want to keep when you're keeping seeds or in this case, peanuts, this because that means they're gonna grow the best plants, okay? I'm cooking this one. Whoa, that's a four peanutter. Whoa, well, you can put it. it. You can put it in there for now. But we'll separate the big ones from the small ones. Yeah, we can decide later what we're going to do with them. Okay, remember, you gotta check along the branches too, because Remember some plants had a lot of them along the branches? If you missed our harvesting video, I will link that right here so that you can catch that later. But what we found is at the base of the plant were the bulk of the peanuts, but then some of them did really good, like this one, of setting peanuts along all of the stems. And that's really what you want because that's gonna maximize your yield. This one was a really good plant, so this has got a lot. That was one thing that I honestly was not expecting. I thought that they would predominantly be along the stems, not at the base of the plant. Daddy, I yeah. think that they're the only ones that are not, um, not bad are the ones that are like white. Uh, these just have a lot of dirt on them. 
So once we clean those off, they'll probably be like that too, where they're a lot lighter in color. You know what, these plants, we will feed them to our goats when we've got all the peanuts off of them. Dad, this one's really rattly. Is it? Yeah. Can you shake it? I hear it. How many pounds of peanuts do you think we're going to have? 200. <laughs> 200 pounds? That's more than me. <laughs> like, I think like I'm gonna guess five, five pounds of peanuts. 80? We had a lot of plants, but we didn't really grow a lot of plants. You think 80 pounds? That's more than you. We'll weigh them when we get done. They're really dried out, which is good, but that also means they don't weigh a lot. Daddy? Hmm. Um. I think um, it's actually like six or four or five pounds. It has to be six, four or five pounds. Four, four or five or six pounds? Yeah. That's it. I think that's a pretty good guess. Hey, remember that purple one that you found? Yeah. I wonder where that one is. Yeah. I but think they've all kind of changed colors now that they've dried, so I don't know that we'll, I don't know if it's still purple. <laughs> So if any of you have grown peanuts and there is an easier way to pull these off, not that this is complicated, but I would love to hear it in the comments below. Uh, any tips on any part of this process would be greatly appreciated and welcome. Also, uh, it would be fun to hear your favorite way to have peanuts, whether it's roasted or just raw. I, some people like just plain raw peanuts. Um, seasoned, boiled. If you're from the South, you're familiar with boiled. If you're not from the South, Chances are you probably have never heard of boiled peanuts. Um, if you have, then I'm impressed if you've tried them. But it is something that is popular down here in the South and it turns them into a totally different product, really. They've become soft, uh, sometimes mushy, which probably doesn't sound very appetizing, but they are so good. They, I mean, really take on a totally different flavor profile and everything else, but you essentially boil them in really salty water until they get soft. And then you crack them open and eat them. And if you're weird like me, you even eat the shells because the shells are soft enough to eat. <laughs> I eat the shells. You eat the shells too? But we can't eat that one. It's cracked open and bug cracked open. Ew. Got it. Yep. That always happens when you grow things. You can share with nature as long as they give us most of them. Whoa. That's a big peanut. Whoa, yeah it is. <laughs> I'm gonna weigh these peanuts. Alright guys, moment of truth. Whoa. Let's carry this out. We gonna do ounces? No pounds. You gonna do pounds? Yeah. All right. Here we go. So, that is almost one and a half pounds, a little more. I really had no clue how much these were going to weigh, so I didn't know what to expect. And then that is another almost pound, so... Two and a half pounds. Nine plus 13 is what? 22. So that means that's two pounds and a half. It's not bad. That was a lot. This was, that was this whole bowl right here. So that was, that was a good bit. Are you happy? Yeah, I'm happy. You're happy? <laughs> Good. Oh.
don't know what it tastes like. It tastes like boiled green nuts. Are you happy with your peanut crop? Thank you for watching. If you like this, give a thumbs up. Have a great week and be blessed.